man received the Citizens Honors Award last week for his work serving those on the autism spectrum. He teaches them trade skills so they can pursue a career. Every year, the Medal of Honor Society chooses five people and one nonprofit organization to be honored. Your reporter in Arapahoe County, Ashley Portillo, shows us more about why Danny Combs was selected for this honor. Early parenthood came with even more challenges when Danny Combs' son was diagnosed with autism at two. I didn't realize at the time when he came into the world that he would change my life for the better. As his son grew older and went to therapy. After every session, it was constantly what was wrong with him, what he needed to do better. And it was never about what his son excelled at. But at three, he was able to visualize and conceptualize and make these amazing things. But Danny turned those challenges into opportunities. At the time, Danny was a musician and dropped everything to make his son's world a better place. In 2017, Danny founded TACT, known as teaching the autism community trades. It began with him teaching out of the back of this 1958 Chevy. I taught welding and auto mechanics and carpentry and electrical in the trades that my parents taught me. From teaching at churches, libraries, and rec centers, to now having a 19,000 square foot facility. TAC served more than 600 students last year. We use the trades as vessels to develop employment skills. So we have electrical, carpentry, welding, auto mechanics, cybersecurity, AutoCAD and design, 3D printing and lasers. For his work, Danny was selected as a Service Act honoree. It was a pretty wild phone call to get, to be honest with you. Uh, it was it was pretty amazing. And last week, he was recognized by the Congressional Medal of Honor Society in Washington, D.C. for creating a more equitable world for people on the spectrum. The moment where they're standing for you as their medal is being put around your neck. Yeah, it brings you to tears. It's amazing. He's passionate about what he does because kids experience a new opportunity every day. Nice. It's addictive. It's contagious when you start seeing hope on kids' face that have never had it before. Danny's son is now 15, and he credits his son for where he is today. And I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, and I credit my son for that. I mean, he's kind of somehow ended up making me go where I'm supposed to go. What an amazing impact and an amazing story. Danny says the autism community is the highest unemployed demographic in the country with a nearly 90% unemployment rate. This will change that, though. Yes. You know, with the, this availability that they're opening up these doors to all these kids, it's just fantastic. Yeah, it really is. In Colorado, we know it is the opposite. More than 83% of tax students, as we were just talking about, get employed in trades. So really making an impact.